Okay, um, let me see if I can get this all uh, nice and set up. So what we've got for you today is our usual um, quiz. And we're hoping to sort of um, get the whole thing sorted out in 30 minutes. It's going to be quite difficult to get it done in 30 minutes, but I'm going to have a crack at it. So the idea being is that I somehow or other go into the settings here and share the screen. Now then, let's have a look. That's the one I want to share, I think. And then I present. Then we should, with a little bit of luck, be good to go. Yeah. So then, um, it's our quiz. We've got 20 questions today instead of the previous, um, uh, we, I can't remember how many I had before. We had 25, I think. Yeah, we had 25 questions before, but today we've narrowed it down to um, uh, 20. So this is our second Doug's Quiz um, online, part two. Oh yeah, um, I've been sort of uh, being a little bit, trying, well, trying to be a little bit more clever than usual. And uh, there you go, Doug Quiz, part two. So let's have a look what we've got. As I said, there are 20 points up for grabs with 20 questions for you to look at. And there's another picture of me as if you needed another one. So that's one point you can award yourself for each correct answer you give. I'll, I'll um, run through the answers at the end of the quiz so that we um, have a rough idea of, um, well, so you yeah, have the answers basically. Again, try not to shout out any of the answers unless you've muted the all-important microphone. Okay, we're good to go with our second Doug quiz. Oh, yeah. Our first question in um, the, 20, the series of 20 today is, Mr. Wilkes and Amos were characters in which UK TV soap opera? So, Mr. Wilkes and Amos were characters in which UK, v, uh, UK TV soap opera? By the heck, Mr. Wilkes. So there you go, that's your first question today. We'll move on to the second one. Okay, do you know who designed and um, built, well, he was not himself, but designed and built the Menai Suspension Bridge. He was a very famous um, engineer of his day. He um, uh, had several um, projects all over the country, but he designed the Menai Suspension Bridge. And he was an engineer and he oversaw the building of it. So who was that? Oh, and we've got some pictures here. Absolutely one of the most iconic um, suspension bridges, probably anywhere in the world, certainly here in the United Kingdom. It's absolutely one of the most beautiful bridges I, I probably ever saw, and it's right on our doorstep. So there you go. And did you know that when it was first built, it didn't have two enormous chains, um, it actually had four. So this designer, this engineer, had actually overdone things a little bit, made it too strong, considering that when it was built, it was just for horse and carriage and the odd person walking, of course. And there they are walking way back um, in the Victorian era, I would suspect, looking very dapper indeed, walking across the Menai Suspension Bridge. So who designed it? The third question, name the largest lake in England. So from one beauty spot to another, really, the largest lake in England is cool. That's your third question. And basically, there's a picture of the magnificent lake. And I can just see myself having afternoon tea in that magnificent looking conservatory in front of what I presume is a hotel. 
on the shores of this magnificent largest lake in England. What's it called? Fourth question. In which Welsh county is Tenby? Dinbych a Pascod a Gymraeg. So in which Welsh county is Tenby? We're into beauty spots today in our online dog quiz. In which Welsh county is Tenby? Of course, we'd better have a picture of Tenby, one of the many little coves and beaches where you can hide away on a sweltering, hot Welsh summer day in this beautiful county in Wales. Now then, the fifth question, not quite so beautiful, but in which country is Europe's only designated desert? It's vast, like old deserts are, but it doesn't have sand dunes like you would expect in the Sahara Desert. It's more like a scrubby looking gravel pit, but it's here in Europe and it's because it's become so arid, it's now, um, and, and the rainfall is below a certain amount, it's now designated a desert. Europe's only desert is in which country? That's question number five. Oh, and there's a picture of it. I was lucky enough uh, two or three years ago to actually visit this place. Um, and it's, uh, and that's a picture I think I took. And um, it's, just like that it's sort of scrubby dry arid no rivers there are lots of dry river beds where is it in which country in europe question number six what three colors feature on the republic of ireland's flag so what three colors feature on the republic of ireland's national flag there you go. That's your sixth question today. And there is the Fair Isle of Avon, featuring all the various counties, um, regions such as Connacht, Leinster, uh, Munster, Ulster, and um, Kerry down there in the far south west. Moving to warmer climates, question number seven asks you to name Europe's most active volcano. Which is Europe's most active volcano? And of course, because this is a dog quiz, and we cannot let the side down, we're going to have, yes, oh yes we are, some pictures of said volcano looking decidedly grumpy in this picture. I would officially be cacking myself if I, was, if I was anywhere near that mountain on that particular day. But um, in moments of weakness, we've been to the top of that mountain and we've uh, thought it was rather magnificent. But in which country is it? Question number eight, from which UK city did the television magazine program this morning first start broadcasting? Um, it's been going for many, many years now, 30 or more, I would imagine. Anyway, is it A, Manchester, B, Cardiff, C, Bristol, or D, Liverpool? That's your eighth question. And here are the presenters. Um, Judy Finnegan and Richard Madeley getting prepared to present this television magazine program, which was first broadcast in which UK city? Now then, name the actor who played the part of Mick Dundee in the blockbuster movie Crocodile Dundee. That's your eighth, ninth question today. Name the actor who played the part blah, 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 of Mick Dundee. In the blockbuster movie, Crocodile Andy. 
That was question number nine. Tenth question. Who famously flew around in a helicopter looking for clues on the Channel 4 program Treasure Hunt? It was co-presented um, by a former BBC television newscaster named Kenneth Kendall. But who famously flew around in a helicopter looking for the all-important clues in this uh, Channel 4 programme called Treasure Hunt? Well, we're halfway there. And this is question 11. Who played the role? John Hammond in the Steven Spielberg movie, Jurassic Park. Who played the role of John Hammond, paleontologist, constructor of the park itself, um, a movie directed by Steven Spielberg, a book um, written by none other than Michael Crichton, Jurassic Park. Oh, yes. Speaking of dinosaurs. Question number 12. McGillicuddy's Reeks are a mountain range in which European country? McGillicuddy's Reeks are a mountain range in which European city? Country. Sorry, I beg your pardon. McGillicuddy's Reeks are a mountain range in which European country? That's your 12th question. Meaning what we've got eight left to ask. Now then, uh, what's the name of the actor who played the role of astronaut, Steve Austin, in the 70s television series, The Six Million Dollar Man? Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. We have the capability to build the world's first bionic man. Steve Austin will be that man. Better than he was before? Better stronger and faster. What was the name of the actor? That's what we want to know. 14, question 14, name the 80s group who sang the song, The Model and Tour de France. Very famous in the 1980s, very iconic and very much into their electronic music. And they were pioneers of that type of music. They had a song, hits called the model and Tour de France, amongst others, I hasten to add. Question 15. From which English county do Eccles cakes originate? Beautiful, buttery, crumbly pastry, Eccles cakes. But from which country do they originate? County, sorry, do they originate? I'm getting my counties and my countries mixed up today, I'm very sorry. Well, there they are in all their glory. Three delights. Oh, I could just have one of those with a cup of tea now. Don't they look delicious? Question number 16. In which English county is Cheddar Gorge? Now, one of my favourite places to go is Cheddar Gorge. We've been there countless times when the kids were little uh, um, and babies, basically. So we've pushed prams on many a hot sweltering summer's afternoon up this gorge in which English county the gorge of cheese cheddar cheese there you go that's question 16 and there's a little picture of said gorge famous also for its mountain goats yeah The 17th question in the Doug quiz this afternoon is this one. The actresses Farrah Fawcett, Kate Jackson and Jacqueline Smith formed which famous crime fighting trio? Farrah Fawcett, Kate Jackson, Jacqueline Smith formed which famous crime fighting trio? Television programme, television series, again from the 1970s. This is a question about 
an actual friend of mine, a man I've met on numerous occasions, Mr. Keith Floyd. Who, um, who was he? Was Keith Floyd a singer, a newsreader? Was he a politician? Or was he a television chef? Um, lovely chap, um, a bit brash at times, but lovely nonetheless. The great, late Keith Floyd. Or was he a singer, newsreader, politician, or television chef? Question 19, what car manufacturer made a model called the Chevette? Mm. What car manufacturer made a model called the Chevette? Great little cars uh, in their day, simple, easy to maintain, did the job. It's what cars are meant to do. Lovely little things. Chevettes, what manufacturer made them? Now, this is our final question, but we've got all the answers to come. How long does it take for light to travel from the Earth, from, sorry, from the Sun to the Earth? How long does it take for light to travel from the Sun to the Earth? Is it A, 30 seconds, B, an hour, C, eight minutes, or D, 20 minutes? How long does it take for light to travel from the Sun to the earth is question number 20. And our final question in today's quiz. But bear with us, we've got the answers to follow in just a moment. Of course, we'll be um, awarding one point for each of the answers you get correctly. So it's best out of 20. So um, we'll be able to start marking them in just a second on today's Doug quiz. Now then, the answer to question one, Amos Brealy and uh, Mr. Wilkes, a Mr. Wilkes, played, um, were, were, were on Emmerdale Farm, that's the soap opera they appeared on, uh, many moons ago, as it happens. And there they are, with his famous sideburns. Um, and he was a correspondent for Rotten Courier, Mr. Wilkes, wasn't he? He was a journalist, a man who took interest in his local community, was Amos. There's a long suffering, Mr. Wilkes. There he is. The guy who um, designed and oversaw the construction of the Menai Suspension Bridge was, in fact, Thomas Telford, if you've put Sir Thomas Telford. That's also correct. The largest lake in England is the glorious Lake Windermere in Cumbria. Beautiful place to be, although I rather imagine that um, it'll be rather full right now. Dimbichapuscod or Temby is in which Welsh county? Of course it's Pembrokeshire. That's the fourth answer. Answer number five, the most arid part of Europe and designated its only desert is in the country of Espana. Spain has Europe's only desert. Well, the three colors that feature in the uh, flag of Ireland are green, white, and orange. Most active volcano in um, Europe is Mount Etna. There it is looking even grumpier spewing ash, lava, and um, all sorts of things, really, from the crater there. This morning was first broadcast from Liverpool, the programme featuring Richard and Judy originally as its first presenters. And that, of course, is Fred's famous map of the United Kingdom and Ireland, where he did the weather forecast every single morning. And there you go, and it was in the Albert Docks and the Granada Studios. In Liverpool. Croc Dundee, yeah mate, was played by Paul Hogan. Again, the late, great Paul Hogan. Sadly passed away very recently. Now then, um, question 10. The lady who jumped out of helicopters was indeed 
Annika and Annika, she's called Annika Rice. She's the lady who um, co-presented uh, Treasure Hunt along with Kenneth Kendall. So Richard Attenborough played the part of John Hammond in the television, in, sorry, in the movie Jurassic Park. So Richard Attenborough, um, you have a Tyrannosaurus? We have a Tyrannosaurus. There you go, Sir Richard Attenborough. McGillicuddy's Reeks are a mountain range in the county of Kerry in the Republic of Ireland, but Ireland is the answer we were expecting as the answer to question number 12. The Six Million Dollar Man was played by Lee Majors. There he is, in all his glory. He had a bionic arm, two bionic legs, and a bionic eye, and it got him in so all sorts of trouble. The six million dollar man. The electronic, ele um, electronica music of the 1980s, um, Tour de France, and the model uh, were two singles by Kraftwerk. Question 15, Lancashire Eccles Cakes, of course. So Eccles Cakes hail from Lancashire. Edda is the valley, the gorge in the county of Somerset. Go there and buy plenty of delicious cheddar cheese, but be prepared to pay for it because it isn't cheap. Oh no, but rather delicious nonetheless. Charlie's Angels, oh my word. Question number 17. They were the three crime busting uh, here. Jacqueline Smith, there she is, my word. Isn't she? It's something else. When I was about 11 years old, I was convinced that I was going to go to America one day and I was going to marry Jacqueline Smith. Now, wow, she is. Oof. Yes, she is. Oh, dear, oh dear. I still want to marry her today. Although Karen would probably have something to say about that. Hmm. She'd probably say, off you go. Kate Jackson was the other one who... Um, Equally beautiful, isn't she stunning? And of course, um, the other uh, in the trio was Farrah Fawcett Majors. Um, um, and she was wife of Lee Majors, who played the $6 million man. And in fact, she was, um, well, I stuck to Jacqueline Smith as my bride-to-be because I didn't want to fight a bionic man to win the affections of Farrah Fawcett. Isn't she just something? Another person who's just something, and a dear friend who I will, well, I still miss, um, died quite recently, in fact, TV chef, Keith Floyd, um, famous for cooking on television and having just a little slurp. You will all probably remember him and his programmes. Vauxhall was the car manufacturer who produced the Chevette, and there it is, beautiful little car. Quite quirky looking today standards, I suppose, by today's standards, I suppose, but very nice. I never had one, unfortunately. I would have liked to have had one. They were, they were quite sporty little things. And the 20th and final question today. The light of the sun takes eight minutes to reach the earth. That is it. And that's all the questions and all your answers on today's quiz. I hope you enjoyed taking part. And I hope to see you all very soon for another Doug Quiz Brain Teaser. And I hope thoroughly that you all um, enjoyed it. So, um, oh yes, it's a beer break for me, but that happens all the time, whether I do quizzes or not. But I thought um, I'd um, sign a photograph of myself there. I like, my, I like seeing photographs of myself. I think I, I'm becoming quite conceited in my old age. There is me with a pint of... Biera Moretti, when I last did this quiz all the way from the delicious, glorious county of Yorkshire. So there you go. I'm going to hand you over now back to um, Leah, who's going to be uh, um, sort of tie up the loose ends and uh, have the last few words on today's uh, Zoom broadcast. So I'm going to um, stop sharing this and um, 
be able to sort of say to you now, um, uh, hope you enjoyed it. We'll do it again soon. And um, for now, it's cheers from me. <laughs>